go to the strip club a lot. We have fun at the strip club, so. Where do you sit? Are you near the stage? Are you in a booth? We're meat rack. We're, we're up there at the meat rack. We're having fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to Kendra and Julian Uncensored. I'm Kendra Lust with my co-host here, Julian Marquez. On our show, we talk about everything from um, sports, sex, in the bedroom, getting fit in and out of the bedroom, and everything in between. And today, we are going to be talking about guilty pleasures. Okay, get your minds out of the gutter. There is more to guilty pleasures than just in the bedroom. And today we have a very special guest, uh, Austin Vanderford. And he, from what I, I, I was uh, texting back and forth, is in Alaska right now. So how many of us have been in Alaska? What the hell? What's going on there? But um, super excited to have him on today. So welcome, Austin. Hey, what's up? How are you? What were you... What were you putting in the in the camera there? Oh, I had I was uh, trying. To, I just had surgery on my hand. Yeah. Ouch. Uh, so, how are you recovering? <laughs> uh, everything's good. This is so I'm from Alaska originally. Um, and Paige and I like to come back here, especially after fights, and just kind of unwind and and uh, just kind of like our little private getaway where we can like disconnect and so. Even though actually. Being here, I'd say there's like more people recognize us here than anywhere else, really. And so, it's uh, it's kind of funny, but uh, but yeah, just having a good time, drinking a lot of beer, having fun with family, and and uh, we're enjoying the state fair right now. That's awesome, Austin. Is it around that time where it goes 24 hours of daylight? No, it's still it's still like fairly normal as far as like the the light cycle and stuff, but uh. It, I mean, right now it gets it gets light at like six a.m. and then starts getting dark at like ten p.m. or so. Um, so it's like twelve hours of sunlight right now. But but it does you lose they start losing like sunlight so fast, like at a crazy rate right now. So uh, it, we've been here before where it's like eleven a.m. It's finally light and then it's dark again at four p.m. So it, yeah, we we like that time of the year too. Point. Wow, that's crazy. Well, I'm going to just hop right to it because this is something, a question I'm going to ask you that's kind of familiar with uh, the household here. So, you know, people know who you are. However, you are married to a very beautiful, successful, oh God, did I say beautiful, sexy, hot, um, former UFC fighter, went over to BKFC. She was on Dancing with the Stars, this chef show. Like she's done pretty much everything. Okay, and people, I mean, I don't wanna, they kind of, they know who she is and yeah. people often refer to you as um, Mr. Van Zant. How, yeah. how, I mean, that's just kind of all over. How annoying or like, how does that make you feel? Uh, I don't really take any of it. You know, I'm a very lighthearted guy. And uh, you know, what's really funny about that. I'd say like an hour ago, I had just left like the, it's called the sluice box here. And it's, it's like the bar area here at the fair. I went to go take a leak and this guy's like, Hey, Austin Van Zant, right? Oh, I'm like, shit. well, I mean, yes, I mean, but Austin Vanderford and uh it's just one of those things I never really care too much about like what people have to say or, or anything like that and it's just kind of I'm really I'm proud to be married to Paige and to be her husband and and uh, that to me you know people are gonna say whatever you until you're blue in the face argue with somebody about something but you know if, if that's their mindset that's their mindset so I enjoy life I have fun I love my wife so much and, and uh, I'm proud that she's accomplished the things that that she's been able to accomplish and you know I feel like I'm her biggest fan and, and uh, all that so it doesn't really hurt my feelings you know yeah well you better be your biggest fan I mean come on now you know <laughs> my husband, it's funny though because you know the way you put it and then the way professor x as julian labeled him puts it his now who is now his doctor came up to him in the gym and was like hey you must be mr lust 
And he's like, the fuck? Like, Mr. Oh, Lust, th- like, you better get a great, but anyway, I was like, no, no, like, you can't kill him. Like, anyway, it turned out to be a really gay, a great guy, but very socially awkward, but great doctor. Yeah. So anyway, I guess people could take it, you know, a couple different ways. So I love, uh, you know, that you're just kind of like, yeah, roll with it. Because, you know, at the end of the day, really, does it really matter? Who gives a shit, right? It doesn't matter, yeah. Julia, what's up, man? It's nice to meet you. Cool. It's good meeting you too as well, man. It's finally the first time I've been watching you all over the big screen all all the time. It's all it's so sick to see you. I do have a question though, man. It's like uh, going back onto the uh, the Van Zant lineup, Mister Van Zant. Do you feel like people disrespect you on that aspect because your accolades speak for themselves? You have defeated some t- high level competition. You fought for a world title, and the two people that you you know have lost to are super super high-end athletes they're not just some like somebody that just walked some soup can and walked off the street these are high-end athletes one of them arguably could be one of the best 85ers to ever walk the earth yeah. like do you feel like people just like disrespect your your accolades disrespect you because they keep on referring to mr van zandt yes and no like like i said i i really don't care about that. I, I truly, I don't really pay too much mind to any of that, but uh, I'm sure I get overlooked at times. And unfortunately, like, you know, my last two fights have not gone good. And, and uh, it sounds crazy to say, but I, I truly do believe that I am better than, uh, than a uh, gay guard. And, you know, it just, it just was a shitty situation, but uh, uh, you know, it, it's just what, it's what people are going to say and what they're going to think. And, and uh I don't take it to heart, so I guess I don't really take it as disrespect, and and uh, I just kind of roll with it, you know. What I mean, I even there's times where I walk out to fights and I'll, I'll put my nickname Mr. Van Zant, and and because uh, I think it's kind of funny, and and uh, you know, like I said, I just I don't really care, you know. We're we're in love, we uh, we love each other, and and uh, all that shit. So you know, it is what it is. That's perfect. I like that. Uh, I like that approach because at the same time, you can use all the people out there that are talking about to help market both of you. And you guys are a team, so yeah. you know you're still tearing it up out there. You know, I know your last two fights are there, but I talk to a lot of your teammates, and they all tell me how unreal you are. And when you lot. shine, it's gonna it's gonna be big. Yeah, dude, your your teammates. I talk to them a lot, so it's so sick to actually uh, finally get to meet you. And then on top of that, you know. Get to hear your mentality upon that because that's one of the biggest struggles for all of us is 100%. what people think of us. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. I, I Honestly, I, I would talk up my last two fights. Uh, my biggest opponent was myself and, and uh, you know, mentally and stuff. And, and sometimes, at, at, just like, you know, Julian, as, as uh, athletes fighting at this level, like, you know, we go through these waves and we go, we question ourselves and we question these things. And, and uh, I just Absolutely. feel for whatever reason, the last two fights, something checked out in my brain and, and uh, you know, and, but that's the way it is. And I understand that. And I'm doing everything I can to, to get back to how I felt before and, and stuff. And, and I understand just how the sport goes and how fighting is and, and all that. So, and uh, just like you, you know, we love this sport so much. We do anything for it. And, and uh, I feel, you know, just like that. You know, the you guys both kind of like touched that. upon, uh, you know, just how how much of the mental like this sport is. And I think with any sport, I can't relate because I'm not top 1% of 1% in a sport, right? But often I feel the people that have the loudest voices are the people behind the keyboards that aren't doing shit, right? Yeah. They're the yeah. biggest bags of shit, like that have never yeah. done anything with their life. They're trolling you because they have nothing left to do. So you know what? Fuck them, right? You yeah. know what? Doing no, you. Like, yeah. I mean, it, it, they're it, good at it. You know what's so crazy? No, don't they're professionals. They, you know what? That's all they have to do, because, right? Because like some of the stuff that they come up with, the God. memes, the the just outlandish talk it's like damn that was good how do you battle that like you win like that's that was pretty win. good you know and that's all you can do is be like bravo bud you're a professional you know keyboard warrior and i'll give you that yes that's right hey, we well, need to be- i'll tell you what when i'm getting like really soft or when i'm when i'm feeling feisty you know maybe i had a couple of drinks or something <laughs> and i'll get on i'll get on with those guys and i'll uh I'll like figure out who they are. I'll go to like their Facebook. I'll figure out who their parents are. 
and I'll, I'll like I'll message their mom or their dad or something be like hey yo this is what your son's saying you know about my wife or saying <laughs> and, uh, look at how disrespectful this motherfucker is you know you <laughs> raise that little piece of shit oh, <laughs> little oh turd. it gets so funny and they'll get so offended like I can't believe you'd say that or you'd reach out to my family or something. I'm like, hey. yeah, but you're talking about my fit, my wife, you know, there you, like, go. Yeah. there you go. Good for you. I mean, Hey, like I said, okay. Like Brent did at WWE, my, a friend of ours, we took him to wrestling yeah. and sometimes you know what's going to come out of his mouth or his gestures. And he gets crazy when it comes to wrestling. And he was like, yeah, the whole fucking show. I was like, whoa. Anyway, but that's what I say to them. So, all right, staying back on or staying on track here. Um, <laughs> thank you for sharing. That was awesome. I yeah. I enjoyed it. Very comedic and, and uh, honest and candid. I love that. Um, we want to talk about guilty pleasures. So first, guilty pleasure. I want to know food, okay? Because food okay. does a lot of things. People don't think of it like that, but you know, not just in your mouth. It makes you feel a certain way. It releases endorphins. So after flight camp, after you've weighed in, you know, you made weight, whatever. What is the one food that you have to have that you, I mean, you don't, you don't care, whatever. Like you're going ham yeah. after, after your fight. I would say the thing that I crave the most uh, while I'm cutting weight, I'm always thinking about it. And this isn't even necessarily the food that I love the most. But what I think about the most is like a big pizza, eating a big old pizza oh, yeah. after uh, after weighing in. Um, Thin or thick crust? I just need to know, Chicago style or New York style? New York style, 100%. Yeah, Paige and I oh, Paige and go to... No. Oh, okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. We'll go to we'll go New York and we'll get... We'll go have dinner somewhere, you know, and uh, on our way back to our hotel... We'll always get a big pizza and eat it, you know, late midnight, 1 a.m. or something, you know. And, and uh, so I'd say pizza is the thing that I do. I crave the most, so I'm kind of weighing. I honestly feel like pizza is like the ultimate guilty pleasure because yeah. I've never once ate a pizza and felt good about myself. You <laughs> no, know, right. like I enjoy it. It doesn't matter where I'm at. It tastes so good. But then I'm I literally like fuck i gotta go run mm -hmm. i gotta go like work out i can't miss practice uh. he'll work that off tomorrow he'll work that off tomorrow i'm gonna have to run tonight <laughs> you know it is it that is a that is a legit answer like i feel that so much but i agree so 100 yeah. percent, man yeah you eat yeah. a pizza you gotta go work out after uh, for sure. i wish i felt the same lately i've been a lazy ass but maybe if i were at your level i'd probably you know okay i should probably get back into uh you know that mindset but um Ah, uh, pizza. Yes. Okay. Um, favorite pizza place. I just need to know. Okay. So it just depends. Like in New York, do you have a specific spot or in your hometown? Uh, so in Florida, we all, we order from a place that's called Little Mike's. And uh, I know and that place. Swear we're, yeah. We swear we're like, this pizza is as good as any pizza we've had in New York. Like mm. it's so good. And I don't know if it's that we haven't ate New York pizza in so long that we forgot, but uh <laughs> Little Mike's in Florida is our place. Pizza is the guilty pleasure. Julian, I'm just curious what your guilty pleasure. You said pizza, probably uh, pizza. Pizza, yeah. pizza is definitely, I like, I feel that a lot. I think my guilty pleasure um, Only. is cheese. Yeah. Really? Yeah, cheese. Okay. Legit is cheese. All right. Okay. And I, I don't know why. I don't know how to hold myself back <laughs> on cheese. Like, even when I'm on a diet, I have to make sure that I have cheese. I like... I, I I feel comfortable when I have a bite of cheese. I talk, I'm like addicted. I'm like a heroin addict when it comes to cheese. Like if I don't have cheese, I get uncomfortable. I just feel like I accomplish so much when I eat cheese. And then you can ask anybody. You can ask Krauss. You can ask my dad. You can ask my brothers. They would say, what's the one food that Julian has to have? And they all would tell you cheese. Cheese. I'm a big cheese guy too. I do love a charcuterie board. Like oh, that's how you say it. Okay. Oh, the best. I do love. I love cheese for sure. Okay. It is, and the, the the more smell a cheese gives off, the better the taste. Wow. Oh, right? okay. so stinky cheeses like 
taste better, I mean. Stinky cheese, like oh. if it smells like, it almost smells like foot, it's going to have a sharper, more just elegant taste to it Not- that you could put on a cracker. You can mix it up with an olive. You can add a little bit of sugar to it. It, it may be whatever it is. Yeah, you like, and it just tastes so fucking good. Now, nice. Professor so delicious. X talks about Fomunda cheese. What is that? Fomunda? Cheese Fomunda Manettes. Yeah, okay. All right, makes sense. That's bullshit. All right, so we're done, yeah. we're done with that. We'll have to talk about that another time. Those are, okay, that's the first guilty pleasure. Okay, so, okay, second guilty pleasure. What's your guilty pleasure? Hold on, don't, oh. don't, try, to, don't try to, like, con us <laughs> into doing our guilty pleasures. What's your guilty <laughs> cheese or your food pleasure? Guilty cheese. I do like cheese. I will will say that. Uh, I don't, I feel like, I mean, I love pizza. Um, it's great. However, I love a big cheeseburger with a, like a over easy egg where the yolk is gooey and lettuce. I could do without tomato. A Onion. Cheese? pickle real mayo a nice lightly crusted bun and medium burger maybe a wagyu for that flavor and then when you just sink your teeth into it and you bite into it it has (laughs) everything that you need so i like a a nice big burger yeah i need carbs i need fat i need cheese it sounded like you're about to have sex with your burger the way you're explaining (laughs) that very detailed i felt that Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I felt love your it. emotions towards that burger. I need one right now. That's all right. Yeah, I had a triple, I had a triple cheeseburger for breakfast this morning. <sighs> I'm jealous. I'm going, I'm going crazy right now. I'm having, Boy. I'm having a good time. Yeah, yeah, you should be. All right. You've earned it. Okay. All right. Thank you for bringing that out of me. Now I'm craving a burger. <laughs> all right. So second guilty pleasure. The third one obviously will be like the, the dirtiest. You know, but everything in moderation. Okay. So. When you're not in camp, when you're not, uh, you know, like nose to the grind, what what do you like to do to decompress? Just, you know, as far as like hobbies, getaways, vacation spots. Yeah. What? I, I, honestly, I, I'm doing it right now. Going back to my hometown in Ilchik, Alaska uh, with Paige and, and just being here. And like I said, I really feel like we can put our phones away, just kind of disconnect. I like to have fun and and all that. I don't feel like anyone's judging me, nothing. I can just be myself and and, uh, have fun. So coming back here to Alaska is my, that's my decompress, like uh, where I feel the best. I like that. You know, I always say, um, you know, it doesn't matter where you go in the world and how beautiful or incredible the sights, you know, the, the culture, the food, there's no place like home. Yeah. So. I like that. Yeah, that's awesome, though. Being at home, going back to, like, where you grew up at, obviously you get to see the lifestyle that you you live now and the lifestyle where you started at, and just you can soak it all in and, and really appreciate the moment, especially being around your family. I, I truly respect that. I understand that completely. Yeah, for sure. It, uh, yeah, I mean, Alaska is much different than Florida and, and uh, just the lifestyle and all that. So it does – it feels good and it's humbling, too, and, and – uh, you know, you realize, like you said, where you came from and, and all that. And so it means a lot. And and, uh, and then it's great, too, that my wa- that Paige loves it so much. And, and she feels the same way when she comes back and, and all that. So we do. We really enjoy being here and, and being back home and, and just kind of getting a little break from, you know, the quote unquote rat race and, and uh, just the craziness that goes on. That's amazing. I, and I'm sure your mom and dad and your family love to have you there. And I read a little bit about the story about your mom. Um, when it, 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 Something about when you guys were, you would show up early because you know she'd be training, right? So you could yeah, yeah. kind of cross paths. And, and then she yeah. told you about this pretty girl that was training. And anyway, I thought it was cute. So I'm sure like that story kind of all came together. So I think that's really cute. Gives me chills because I'm a nerd like that. And uh, I think that's awesome. So, so cool. Yeah. All right, Julian, what about you? So what what do you like to do? Or like, what oh, do you, you like- already know. You absolutely. I can literally go here and grab... Oh, I don't have one of these bad boys up here. Oh, this what is what we I got hate? right oh, here. I don't hate we got ourselves oh, a little bit of disc golf. I don't hate it. I'm out here throwing plastic all day. I have, I have a like. If I were to show you my wall, I have discs all lined up on my sports wall. 
Like I can oh, turn this a little bit, and you can see they're just going yeah, just, all the way yeah. around. Just show us, okay? Uh, show so us. disc golf actually gets uh, rid of everything for me. It's my, it would be my uh, like out of or even in camp, out of camp, just relaxation. It's the only thing that you can shut your mind off. It doesn't matter if you do great. Doesn't matter if you do crappy in disc golf. It's just an hour actively where you're out there and you're focusing on nothing but just being out in. You know, the field out on in the beautiful grass by the trees surrounded by nature. And it's very relaxing. That's awesome, man. I love, I actually really like uh, playing disc golf, disc golf. What do you do to, for your relaxation as well? I don't know. Uh, as far as the, I, I like being outside. Like today I was um, out at my property and I was with uh, chickens and ducks and the pond and fishing and on a side by side, although Professor X was trying to scare me and he was going really fast. I'm like, Jesus Christ, like you have to be careful. Um, so for me, just like being outside and I, I love nature, him not so much, but I like it. Yeah, I like it. I just like being outside. It's, it's healthy, like animals, that type of thing. So yeah, so it was good. So that's my thing. Third guilty pleasure. Now this is where it gets really juicy, so brace yourself. Okay. 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 All right. So guilty pleasure, like in the bedroom. So, okay. like, do you have like, are you a voyeur? Are you a pleaser? Are you a, more of a giver? I mean, we're all kind of takers at some point, right? <laughs> it gets to a point where you gotta. Yeah. Right. Um. Yeah. Like. Um. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it open. I probably don't give <laughs> as much as I should. Son of a uh, bitch. I, uh, but I do. I Paige and I sex life's amazing, uh, and we have a lot of fun together for sure. I would say if she was gonna critique me, she would say, "Hey, you could give a little bit more," because she <laughs> likes to give a lot. So I probably need to be a little better at reciprocating. But uh, all right. Yes. Yeah, uh man but if i had a guilty pleasure yeah uh, like is it or, or even like it could be like going to a erotic massage it could be like you know making out at a drive-in like it could be cheesy it could be, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter like what's your kind of thing like uh, we're big strip club uh go we go to the strip club a lot we have fun at the strip club so i think it was the first night here in anchorage we went to the strip club uh because it's like world famous and uh growing up here in alaska i never went to it and uh so we uh yeah we went to the ship club here in anchorage and, and had a good time so nice uh I, I would say if that was our if that was a guilty pleasure i'll say go to the ship club we enjoy seeing beautiful women yeah nothing wrong with that okay so there's a part a little bit of Same. a yeah yeah right come on julia there we go yeah Thanks. No, and my wife and I are very confident in our marriage, too, and she, uh, you know, that we don't see any problem with it. So Nothing we, wrong with it. No, and they have great steaks. Yeah. Usually, it's a great dinner. Let's be I've real. never ate at a shrimp You have to. to. I'm <laughs> telling you, I've had some of the best dining, okay? Okay. And you got to check it out. But, you know, you, you just know your demographic, right? Okay, yeah. so my question is, where do you sit? Are you near the stage? Are you in a booth? Are you in VIP? Oh, we're we're meat rack. We're we're up there at the meat rack. We're having fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Okay, so you better be tipping because we're they're the climbing stage. the pole, oh. and I get so pissed 100%. when they don't yes. tip. And these girls I'll, are I'll working barely, like killing themselves. And guys will be like, "Free show." I'm like, "No, motherfucker." So I go up. I get all the ones, and I'm like, yeah, look at your sad ass. Like, that makes me mad. These girls are working. Oh, uh, we're, yes, we, uh, yeah, we definitely do, especially if they're doing, yeah, like, like, crazy stuff yeah, on the pole. Like, it's what like, the hell okay, is going on? this is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. I get that. You know, so. you're, you're definitely, it's not your first time if you're referring it to a meat rack. Only a few people <laughs> know that term, <laughs> meat rack. And yeah. Yeah. that is, that is the greatest oh, thing yeah. I've heard, to be honest. Meat like, rack. That's yeah. incredible. That's kind of funny. Oh, geez. Yeah. Oh, geez, right here. Okay, I feel like Julian's trying to evade the question of guilt. Or of guilt. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't know. I was Bedroom just building. Pleasure. Building and rocking. My guilty pleasure yeah. is fucking hilarious. Oh I God, I'm think scared. it's fun to go with my girl and, like, we go out in public. When we're out in public, I'm be like, hey, act like you're, like, act like you're my daughter. 
And then we'll just like play the role where I look like that I'm her like dad. And like she'll refer to me as dad, and like I'm holding her hands, cuddling up with her, giving her kisses and stuff. And like everyone's looking at you, like, what is going on? My guilty, like that pleasure right there, it's just fucking hilarious because people don't mind their own business. So they're always going to be in there and they actually believe that you're like hanging out with your daughter when I'm fucking 32 and she's 30. So it's like, that is really funny. Yeah, there's <laughs> yes. some voyeur, uh, voyeuristic, like, I don't know, like you like to be watched type thing too. So that's like, there's part part of that too. So that's, it's a couple different things. It's, it's King yeah. Dan. I'm there. Ah, oh, that one was a little wild one. All right. I like it. I feel like we can Google your guilty pleasures, Kendra, but I would that like to hear Don't even, here. please. That shit is like, okay. You know, it's, it's had its run. My guilty, no, I'm going to, oh God, it's not in the bedroom though. I was, I was just going to be all excited about my you know my belt watching do- at night when i can't sleep you would think i would do all these nasty dirty things no i watch old school wrestling okay that's what i do mick foley story okay kevin nash uh sean michaels okay and now okay a personalized i'm really excited i don't get excited ronda rousey replica belt oh dang yeah, you're a wrestling mark. That's pretty. So anyway, that's kind of my guilty pleasure. Pretty at badass. Night when I'm all by myself, isn't that hot, guys? Yeah. No, there's way more to it, but um, yeah, it's all on. Has Professor X used that as a belt on you? Yeah. Whew. <laughs> yeah. Whew. He, he has, has? story. Oh, He's way more exciting than me. I'm a nerd. Let's be real. So. Is there anything uh, that you want to say, Austin, or you want your fans to know? about what you have coming up um we'll do your socials at the end as well um any big projects or anything that we can be looking for obviously just finished the fight just got surgery on my hands so i'm gonna drink a lot of beer for a couple weeks i'm gonna have fun uh eat pizza i'm I'm gonna eat pizza i'm gonna relax I can't game right now because my thumb's <laughs> fucked up. But, uh, you know, I'll be out of the gym for like a month. I'll get back in, get back to work. And uh, my wife's got some really crazy stuff, some cool stuff coming up. And, can't wait yeah. to hear about all that. That's it. Just yeah. Villain, like a villain in Alaska. It's awesome. Yes. I appreciate you coming on and hanging out with us. Um, I appreciate you giving up that. Can you, can you shoot us out your social for everyone that's watching and listening? Yeah, it's Austin Vanderford. Austin Vanderford, you follow me on all the uh, the platforms and stuff, and uh, yeah, and that's it. Awesome. Well, we thank you so much for your time, and uh, tell your beautiful wife thank you for uh, lending. You know, <laughs> so for you to be able to take yes. time away from your family and all that good stuff uh, and your downtime. So we appreciate it very much, and uh, we hope you have a, a great rest of your vacation and your your downtime with your family heal up rest well and we'll be in touch thank you guys julian very nice to kendra good to see you again thank you thank you so much guys and if you you'd like this episode uh be sure to like and subscribe uh kendra and julian uncensored uh we're so happy to have you guys tune in and we can't wait to bring you hot new fun exciting episodes and um please write in email uh, if there's anything you want us to talk about Thanks so much. Bye, guys.